Hey everybody, welcome back. I wanna wish you all a happy new year and I hope you guys all had amazing holidays these last couple weeks. So if you remember a couple months ago, I did make a video installing my Oxbeam switch panel. If you haven't, I'll put that up on, I think this site. Go watch that, just my review and install of the switch panel. In that video, I did go and design and 3D print a panel mount for that to go into the factory location on the Sequoia. So after I post that video, I had some people reach out and ask me if I was gonna be selling the mount. Uh, I am not, I'm gonna be giving it away for free. So if you're familiar with any of my other videos, I enjoy building stuff, I enjoy designing stuff. I encourage people to do their own builds, not just buy and have a shop do it. Not saying that's wrong. I just like getting hands on with my with my projects. In an effort to promote that, basically anything I design on the video, if I can find a way to make it a digital deliverable for all you guys to enjoy, I'm gonna to try to do that. My website's still being worked on, but it is enough for you to go on and download this mount. So all the products I'm gonna make, uh, I do have some more uh, planned. Uh, I was making an angled mount for my roof rack for the rock lights as well. Uh, so stuff like that. When I get into more fabrication items on a Sequoia, like bumpers, stuff like that, I'm gonna try to build those in a way that I can help you guys, um, whether that be digital files or whatnot. In an effort to do that, I'm actually doing everything as a name your price. What that means is I start everything at zero dollars. If you can't afford to pay, you don't wanna pay, it's free, have at it. If you are thankful for any of the work that I've done um, trying to provide this, the name your price option is there for if you wanna help the channel grow, help me come up with more designs. Um, it does take time to do all that. Nico, settle, sit. So it does take time to do all this stuff. I put a lot of time into the designs, make sure it's right, and as well as with these videos. So if you want, Nova, no. So if you're looking for a way to help out the channel grow, and if you want to throw a couple bucks at it, by all means, if not, then it's free. Uh, this panel here, so the panel uh, kind of recesses it. This on the back, you can see, it uses the four screws for the actual panel itself to hold it in, and then the actual Toyota switch. I didn't measure out these uh, ones from the Toyota one. I made this match exactly with the grooves, everything like that. So it just slides in, pops in place, locks in, just like the factory one does. So I made this just out of PLA and it's been holding it fine. I've had it on for a couple months. There's no issues with it. So if you yourself have a 3D printer at home, uh, I just used Cura, put it in. I think this print took nine and a half hours. I did have a lot of supports coming off the bottom. I printed it kind of upright like this. There are some layer lines just on the uh, the top, I'm actually going to go and sand these down and try to kind of just give it a coat of paint, um, just make it look a little nicer. But I'm new to 3D printing, so it could just be my print settings um, need to be better or just orientation. If you don't have a 3D printer or you don't have a friend that will be willing to print you something for some beer, I will link down below. There are some print on demand companies. I myself do not want to sell products like this I have to keep inventory of and stuff like that. I work full-time job, this is just a hobby. Um, don't have time or the resources to be beneficial to you guys. So what I can do is give you guys the digital file and send it out, find a friend that does have a 3D printer. So as you can see, so when I was going through and designing this thing, um, all sorts of revisions, I was changing the profile on a lot of them. I was changing the clips on a lot of them. So I did put a lot of time and effort into this, but I am happy with the result. It came out great, I mean, other than the layer line. So I wanted something that looked a little more factory. I have this on my 2005 Sequoia. Comment down below if you know which other panel, uh, center console mounts are the same. Um, I want to say the first gen double cab Tundras have the same center console, but the access cabs do not. Uh, if you guys can comment down below, I'll update the description. I know to work on the 2005 and up Sequoias, uh, first gen Sequoias. So if you guys are aware, uh, I will on the product description, I'll put dimensions of kind of the profile of this thing. So you guys can double check. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, I want to know just so I can update the description. 
to help everybody else out. Anything that's sent through the name your price option, I will be giving 25% to One Tree Planted. If you haven't seen, there's forest fires every year, uh, especially out here in Colorado. I did the ammo can fire pit video, which was received very well, but kind of in an effort to help that, I always wanted to do products I gave back in some way. And I was looking at a few nonprofits, but I did decide on this one. You can donate towards a specific project that they have, and one of them is forest fire recovery. So 25% of any of my name your price objects I'm coming out with now or in the future will be for One Tree Planet's forest fire recovery. So that's my way of being able to give back to some degree. So yeah, check out the website. I do have more information on that, on the organization, as well as how the name your price option works. So I'm just gonna kind of take these apart and sand it down, put some paint on it, just take away those layer lines and then I'm gonna go install it. All right, so I sanded it down with, uh, I used 120 and then 220 sandpaper just to knock off the edges. I am just gonna use some satin black Rust-Oleum, nothing fancy. It does say to paint between 50 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it's currently 37. I don't have much choice, so I'm just gonna put this on. Try to not uh, get splatters everywhere because uh, I did a test run, it's touchy, so we'll just, Paint this, let it dry, and I'll show you how to install it real quick. So we went through and got the mount painted up. I did put a couple coats on it, sanding in between. I ended up going with some actually black steel it because I had some. The can I was trying to use off the other stuff splattered a lot. I don't know if it's because of the temperature or what. So now I'm just gonna show you how to mount the switch panel into the mount, and then we'll just get in the truck. It's actually really easy. So all you'll do is you'll make sure you plug your switch panel back into the wiring or as you're installing it, just plug it in right there. And then for the glass brake sensor, if you have that, it's just this plug goes in. So all you'll do is you'll center the bottom here and push in and it locks in. If you ever need to take it out, all you do is just grab by the panel and you can pop the top off. And same thing. So there's a tab right here that kind of grips it on that top. So, same thing reverse, bottom in, and it's good to go. So I've had that switch panel now for a couple months and it's been great. I did do a full video on that with the install, kind of my preliminary review. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Down below I did put a link to my website for the switch panel mount, as well as an affiliate link to the Oxbeam switch panel itself. So if you haven't, you can pick both those up down below. Remember for the mount, there is no obligation free of charge if you guys want it. So my goal is to just help you guys out, um, give you guys something that could benefit you and your build. Thanks for watching this and I will see you guys on the next one.